Verse 15, he says, the seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and what? Say it with me, what? Take it away. Take it away. Write this down. Here's the first seed. Here's the first soil. The soil of pride. The soil of pride. Jesus, in the, in the parable, he talks about these birds that came and they t- the seed is scattered and the birds come and they take it away before it can be used. And for Jesus, it was birds. For me, it's squirrels. I, I, I talked about this recently. You probably heard me talking about this, but I've got bird feeders all over my backyard, but I'm battling squirrels because as soon as I put the bird seed out, the, the squirrels come and they take it away. It is the most frustrating thing ever. My mother-in-law, I love her, that I just spoke about, she said, Brad, get an air gun. I love that lady. I lo- Laura's like, no, that's terrible. That's awful. Don't do that. I'm like, no, I'm getting arrogant. So, I mean, but they, they just, but I can no sooner get the seed out than the, the squirrels sweep in and they take the seed away. I mean, and then they, it's like a buffet for them, okay? It's like the good old, it's like a, a golden corral buffet. Anybody remember when we used to go to buffets? <laughs> Nobody's going to buffets right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a buffet for them. I mean, they, and they're mocking me. I look out there and like I have put Vaseline on the pole to keep them from going up the pole. And here's the squirrel out there. It's like flash dance. He's like, what a feeling. And he's got bird seed just coming down on him, you know? <laughs> Listen, this is what Jesus is trying to say here. I don't know what he's trying to say. Hang on here. He's <laughs> got caught up in my flat. I got caught up in that for a second. Sorry about that. Listen, here, right now, right now, God is scattering seed. Like right now. Right now, seed is being scattered. The word of God, the message, you are hearing the message of God. You're, it's not, you're not hearing a preacher we're reading and we're learning from the very word of God. This is a seed that is going out, but, but what, is, what does Jesus say? He says the devil is waiting to snatch it. He's waiting to take it away, and he is so sly. Because what he will say to you is things like this. Oh, Brad's talking about daily devotions. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Read your Bible. I know. That's a, and the enemy says, yeah, you, you, you don't, read your Bible every day? Read your Bible. You don't need to read your Bible every day. You're, you know what? You're good. You're good. You know, you know the stories. You know this story. You've heard this story. You can just put it on autopilot. You're fine. And you know what's happening when that's going on? The devil is wearing a footpath across the soil of your soul. He's beating it down with everything that he's saying. Oh, you're good. You don't need that. You're fine. You know the word. Why would you need? You don't need to read it every day. I mean, you've, you've heard this for so long. You're good. Don't let the devil wear a footpath across your soul. Come on, turn to somebody wherever you are and tell them, don't let the devil wear a footpath across your soul. You've got to cultivate the soil of your soul. 